All right, this is Alan again, and I'm going to tell you a little bit in this screencast about a very handy tool that's free, that's very useful in DS106 for editing uh, your videos and doing your video work, MPEG Stream Clip, which you can find at squared5.com, available for both Mac and Windows. It does a lot of things, but mainly for DS106 purpose, it allows you to easily take a video clip of something, say that you've downloaded from YouTube or something you've shot from elsewhere, and be able to slice it into the very specific uh, cuts that we need because we don't always need the entire clip. Uh, this can be easier for your production work rather than importing an entire clip and then having to edit it down within your movie to be able to um, bring it together in these small clips. And even MPEG Stream Clip, you can actually assemble them as well. Uh, again, it's a free application. Uh, download it for your particular version. And we're going to just step through the basic way that we would be using it in DS106. So when we open it, we get a blank screen, and it's like a basic video player. Now, in a previous screencast, we showed you how to download your YouTube videos and save them as MP4. And that's the easiest way I find to use MPEG Stream Clip. Although, uh, you should be able to load the URLs directly into MPEG Stream Clip. I've had mixed luck with that, so I prefer to download them to my hard drive, the original files, and then go to the File menu and do Open, and you're going to load them here into this application. And what you'll find is it's a basic video player. So, for example, I've loaded already uh, this clip from Meatballs, since we're on a camp kick, and we can use the Play button and the little slider uh, tool to be able to get to a sequence, the beginning of a sequence that we want to mark. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark the begin point here under the file, um, the edit menu, and then uh, select in. And you notice that there's a keyboard sh shortcut, uh, the I key. So actually you can just do this by pressing I. And that will mark uh, right here at this point as say that's the beginning of the cut that I want to use. Then what we're going to do is continue playing the movie and get to the ending of the general area where I want to make a cut. And again, here we are a little bit further out in the video, and I've marked uh, under, again, the Edit menu and select Out uh, at this point here. And you can see that we have uh, marked these in and out points uh, for our clip. So we're going to save just that segment. You don't have to be entirely precise. In fact, I usually grab a little bit before I think it's what I need and a little bit after because in the next set, we'll show you how you can actually fine tune that. And that's where MPEG Stream Clip really shines. So what we will want to do at this point is go to the Edit menu again and do uh, Trim. And what that's going to do is going to say, it's going to say, make me, uh, just show me the part of the movie I've marked by the beginning and the end point. And what we have now here in this trimmed uh, view is now we have just a small portion of the clip that we're going to want to be using. Uh, and we can play that back and forth to see if that's exactly what we want. We can actually repeat this pro. So in this case, um, I can actually mark the beginning of an in and out point and I can either cut it or I can do in and out point and I can trim it again. I can also go somewhere perhaps in the middle of the clip and say cut out a segment I don't really want in my final. So what we're doing is getting this exactly to the beginning and end of the point of the clip that we want to be able to use in our other project. And then when we're all done that, when we sort of figured out that we've gotten the exact clip that we want, we're going to go to the um, file save uh, menu and there are a bunch of other ways to export uh, these are you can convert uh, video to other formats there's a lot of complex settings but as we've suggested when we show you how to download YouTube videos if you download as mpeg4 or .mp4 files uh, that's sort of a native uh, file format for this application so the best way to save your work is just to save as and that will save it as an M a new mp4 file and it's actually the fastest of all the um, other ways to save the export actually has to do uh, reprocess the video and that takes time as well so we recommend saving as so of course we're just going to want to uh, save this as a file somewhere uh, on our computer and um, and there we have it. We've got this new little clip that we can actually use uh, in many places. And then if there are other parts of this video that we want to grab a different section of, we're just going to do uh, revert all changes 
And basically that's going to restore the video to its original form. So you're not really destroying or changing anything in the original video. You're just marking it, cutting it, saving it. And you can repeat this process as many times as you need to to pull out little isolated portions of the clips. Now MPEG Stream Clip does have the ability to open all of them as a group and actually assemble them in order. And you could do some very simple editing if all you're doing is cutting and pasting. But for the most part, what we're going to use MPEG Stream Clip for is to be able to do this process of uh, marking the clips and making new little subclips out of them. And that's uh, in less uh, than a few minutes uh, how uh, we suggest using this application for uh, working with your videos, uh, making them into smaller pieces. Uh, there's other things you can do in MPEG Stream Clip. You can actually save single frames if you need to do stills. Uh, sometimes that's handy for assembling your animated GIFs, so you can just grab the different frames uh, from the movie that you want as still JPEG images. And with that, you should be on to making more DS-106 video masterpieces.